part of signing the agreements is now over. I now kindly ask the President of the Republic of Uganda, Mr. Yaveri Kagutu Museveni, to now take the floor. Uh, Your Excellency, President Vucic, and the government of Serbia, my delegation and myself are very happy to be here on your invitation. We have had very useful discussions. And as I told you, uh, Serbia, through Yugoslavia, was not new, is not new to us. In the 1950s, 1960s, we had very good relations with uh, Yugoslavia under Marshal Tito. And I told you how we used to follow the stand of Marshal Tito uh, during that time, especially the neutral position he kept between uh, the quarrel between the Soviet Union and China. At that time, they were all socialists, they were all communists, but they had disagreements. But uh, Marshal Tito refused to take sides and uh, remained uh, neutral. And we admired him for that. Our, our elders, like Marimu Nyerere, the president of Tanzania at that time, who was our, our, our senior person, appreciated him so much. Uh, Marshal Tito, together with uh, Nkrumah and with uh, NASA of Egypt and with uh, Sukano of Indonesia, we are the, 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 the champions of the, of the non-aligned movement. Uh, I told you how I welcomed uh, Elbrad Kardej at the University of Dar es Salaam as one of my guests when I was a student leader. Then uh, uh, Serbia, uh, Yugoslav companies, especially one called Enago Project, uh, built very good uh, structures in Uganda. There's one structure which is, which is very famous, known as the Nile International Conference Center and Hotel. This was built by the Enago project, uh, hired by the Uganda government in 1970. Then 1986, we, we, we brought them back and they rehabilitated uh, the Nile Conference Center and they also rehabilitated the Sheraton. And through butter trade, we worked with them and they built a very good road between a place called Mitiana and another place called Mubende. And then uh, we, we bought quite a number of things from Yugoslavia, including uh, boats known as Alinda, which we still have uh, for our Marines on, on Lake Victoria. Uh, unfortunately, Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia was involved in some internal uh, issues. There was a little bit of disconnection, but now I'm very glad that you are, you are stable and you are developing, and uh, I am back here to resume our, our collaboration. I thank you very much. Thank you. So, and we have prepared for Mr. President Museveni some documents, photos, uh, notes, from these meetings. Mr. Museveni, President Museveni, is a man with outstanding experience and talking directly to him I could learn a lot and not. You see that Mr. President Museveni remembers Edward Kardel, he remembers the dissidents of Yugoslavia, he remembers Gilas, uh, how he and Tito went on, uh, and I could learn a lot from President Museveni, Museveni also uh, about current political situation in Africa, the speed of African growth. Africa in total has 1.5 billion uh, 
population much bigger than India, but Africa is developing, moving forward. In 30 years, we'll have more than 2.5 billion people in Africa, and it will become then one of the biggest, most important markets in the world after Asia. We talked about many important issues. I'm very grateful to President Museveni for standing by the international law and that because Uganda is supporting the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Serbia, of the whole Serbian territory in international fora, international organs, we do reciprocally for Uganda and all African countries. What is very important for us, we talk about international cooperation. Before the end of August, one or two ministers ahead of delegation from Serbia will visit Uganda to talk about possible cooperation in agriculture. Firstly, we'll talk about it in the business forum, in other areas, in defense. We already had some cooperation in the years before us. Uh, behind us, we think we can improve this cooperation of ours. And uh, let me tell you, in 2050, Uganda will have more than 100 million inhabitants. Today, Uganda has more than 40 million people who cannot follow this quick growth in Africa. Uh, Uganda in 2050 will be one of the youngest countries in the whole world. Huge potentials. And we will talk at the business forum about it, what is very important for us. Mr. Museveni, President Museveni respects uh, uh, private property a lot. He knows that you cannot have successful economy if the state owes everything. That's very important for our investors. President Museveni invited me uh, for the big uh, Congress of Non-Alignment in uh, 2024, in January. It's an extreme honor for me as a head of state, head of Serbian state, to attend in Kampala uh, this non-alignment meeting. But what I think is also very important for people in Uganda and us here, we had a growth and uh, uh, spreading of our national air company, many new lines. Uh, Serbia is flying many new lines, but in the future we will have to focus some strategic points in Africa and Kampala and Uganda can be one of the places, one of the hubs for us in Africa where we can look towards. And Mr. President, I wish you the best of health. And I wish you to do a lot of good with your collaborators for our friendly people of Uganda. And we will do our best to translate into reality, to concretize the agreements we have signed today and to show that not only we understand each other, in global politics, we want to hear from experienced people like you a lot, but we want to have cooperation to the benefit of citizens of Uganda and Serbia. I hope by the end of next year we can have uh, this direct airline. If we open airline, it would be a, a line, it would be great success for our country and for Uganda. Thank you again. Feel at home, Mr. President. Sit. 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 Sit.